Well, by closing my door, we just found out that Teclan has announced Dying Light the Beast. Like what I was talking about in my last video about this rumor of Dying Light the Beast, well, it turns out to be true. And surprisingly, this is going to be a new game, not a DLC, because it seems to be that Teclan have canceled DLC too and go, you know what, let's just release a brand new game. Done. See? Look at that. But anyways, let's talk about it. Yep, that's right. Dying Light the Beast has officially been announced. It's a brand new standalone game featuring Cole Crane. Oh my god! So what we do know about this was that this was originally DLC 2 because as what Teclan has wrote down on the frequently asked questions, it was that, is this DLC 2 to Dying Light to stay human? And they have written down, they initially started during our work on DLC 2, but our story leg made us rethink the narrative, the scope, and the general approach when we decided to make Cole Crane the hero of Dying Light the Beast. It gave us powerful boosts of inspiration like many of you, we really wanted to bring Cole back to do justice to the hero of Huron. That's how Dying Light the Beast was born. As they have written down, a self-contained zombie survival adventure offering a new setting, new set of gameplay features, and a new story, culminating in a standalone 18 plus hour adventure. So what's really cool with Kyle Crane is that you're actually going to be hunting your captors through this new setting of Caster Woods, all while helping those in need. As you find out more details of what's been going on here, you begin to realize there's a lot more at stake than getting revenge. So it's awesome to see that they brought back Kyle Crane because when you think about dying like the beast is that going to be that Kyle is like human during the daytime and when it's nighttime he mood tastes as something more deadlier than a volatile like it's actually insane now that we can actually talk about this compared to what my last video of talking about it at least we know what it actually is about so I cannot wait to start talking about it more once we get more details about it eventually when they start talking about it but I think it's also quite annoying as well it's cool to see that it is a standalone game but looking at like this other question that people are asking of will there be another DLC to for Dying Light to stay human. And they are saying, no. Rather than releasing another DLC for Dying Light to stay human, we decided to expand the scope of DLC 2 and develop it into a standalone game. But rest assured, while we don't have any plans for new DLCs at the moment, we're still committed to our promise of five year post launch support for the game, including content drops and events. So stay tuned for updates. Well, as you can clearly see of how many times I've already uploaded videos of Dying Light 2, at least we're gonna be getting some other stuff for Dying Light 2. But it really seems now, like what happened with Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide, it's just like, yeah, you got Dying Light 1, you got the following, Dying Light 2 can go straight in the bin, and you've got Dying Light the Beast. So I see where they're coming from, but at the same time, it's like, oh, okay, no worries. So basically, Aiden's just like, yeah, let's just put him on the side, because it seems to me that a lot of people don't like Aiden anymore. Let's bring back Cole Crane, yeah. I mean, it must suck for a lot of people that were, like, excited to see Aiden do more on Dying Light 2. But at the end of the day, I think more people were quite excited for Cole Crane than bloody Aiden. But how can you say no to play Cole Crane? Like, my god, man. Because I ran down this comment on Jamie's video about him talking about with the Dying Light the Beast and I ran down, it's really good they're bringing back Cole Crane. He was the reason why I love Dying Light 1 and the following. So hopefully when this new game comes out, I'm gonna have the same reaction like I did all the way back in 2015 and 16. So that was the reason why I absolutely loved playing Dying Light 1 and the following was because of the main character, Cole Crane. I know most people would go, oh, is that it? Not the gameplay or anything. But you have to understand, if you've got actually a good storyline and a good character, you get more in depth in the game, which was the whole reason why I wanted the Xbox One in the first place all the way back in 2015, just to play Dying Light 1. So hopefully when the beast comes out, oh man, I cannot wait. But don't get me wrong, the trailer that Teclan has done was absolutely amazing coming from the music, and it's also really cool to see what Crane is going to do after being experimented for like 13 years. So overall, the entire trailer was just... It was perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. And man, I cannot wait to start making more videos about this. But how about all of you? Are you excited for this brand new standalone game? Or did you really want this to be a proper DLC 2 for Dying Light 2? But hey, let me know in the comments down below. Because I did see so many of you going, nah, it can't be DLC 2. It's going to be a new game on my previous video. So many of you that are going to be watching this video now are going to go, yep, yeah, I f***.
knew it. I knew it. Man, there's so many things I can start talking about with this, but let's just wait and see what they're going to talk more about it because there's actually no release date yet, which does suck. But I mean, hey, what can you do about it? And also, if you have the Ultimate Edition of Dawn Light 2, you do not need to pay for this at all. So if you spend a lot of money on the Ultimate Edition or the Collector's Edition, you do not have to worry about purchasing this standalone game again. It's so funny as well because there's been so many leaks before this actually was announced and a lot of other YouTubers were like, yeah, um, this was not what we were expecting, but at least you now know. Well, besides that, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. I just want to make a quick video for all of you to talk about with the beast, basically. And hey, let me know about how you feel about the trailer and what do you want to see in this new standalone game? Let me know down in the comments down below. But besides that, everybody, take care of yourself and I'll see you guys in my next video.